Woodpeckers peck for several reasons. One reason is to forage for insects beneath the bark of the tree or to collect sap. They have another special feature which allows them to project their tongue out quite far to be able to do this. The way this works is their tongues are connected to something called the hyoid apparatus. And the hyoid apparatus consists of a bone as well as some muscles that contract to make the bone move. So we can see a little bit about how this works in these two examples here. We have a downy woodpecker on the left here and we have a hairy woodpecker on the right. On the downy woodpecker, you can see the hyoid bone here. If I move it around a little bit, you can see how it, it connects to the tongue down here. It wraps around the bottom of the skull, comes up the back of the skull, wraps around the eyeball, and then connects in the front. In the example of the hairy woodpecker, you can see that the hyoid and the tongue have been removed, and the hyoid's been stained in this case. Uh, you can see the tongue is this little gray piece here, and the hyoid is this red stained bone that wraps around like that. And you can see it curls around kind of in a circle so that it can curl around uh, the back of the skull. So the hyoid is separated from the skull normally, and when the muscles contract, the hyoid moves closer to the skull and the tongue scoots out. And one of the interesting things is that the hyoid apparatus allows the tongue to move out and collect little insects and sap and things like that. So woodpeckers peck to collect insects and sap to eat, but they also peck for other reasons too. One is that they build cavity nests. And here we have an example of a cavity nest that was carved out by an ivory-billed woodpecker. So here's the mounted example of the ivory-billed woodpecker. Unfortunately, these are now extinct, and so we don't see any live ones, but this is a mounted specimen of one. And when they build these cavity nests, what they do is they dig out a horizontal tunnel, and then they build a cup below that, and the eggs are laid at the bottom of that cup. And for the ivory-billed woodpecker, we can see just how big that nest is, if I take a ruler and we can actually measure some of the dimensions. So if I put the ruler in horizontally like this, I can see that this nest is about eight inches deep into the tree. And if I move the ruler this way on, the, the nest goes right up to the top of this hole here, and it's about 20 inches deep. So when you think of that, this woodpecker here has carved out this nest that's about eight inches in diameter and 20 inches deep to lay its eggs at the bottom. During mating season, woodpeckers peck on a hollow branch to make a loud noise, and they do this to announce their presence and their availability for mating. Sometimes they peck on downspouts on houses, which can be quite annoying for the occupants because it makes quite a loud noise. Acorn woodpeckers peck for yet another reason. So let's take a look at some specimens of acorn woodpeckers. Here we have a whole drawer of acorn woodpeckers collected at different times, some in California, some in Oregon, some in Arizona. And if we look at a particular specimen, you can see how colorful they are. They have red at the back of the neck here. There's yellow behind the beak, and yellow goes all around their, the bottom of their neck there. And they're sometimes called the clown woodpecker just because they're so colorful and beautiful. Acorn woodpeckers live in social groups of up to about 16 in California and Oregon, sometimes in Arizona. And I think of them as the champions of pecking. They really have an amazing behavior related to the pecking. What they do is they store acorns in granaries, and the granaries are decaying tree trunks. They'll peck little holes in the decaying tree trunk and pop their little acorn in there. And the thing that is the most amazing about this whole behavior is it's not just one or two acorns that they store, but it's tens of thousands. And they can store up to 50 or 60,000 acorns in a single granary. Next, we'll look at the mechanics behind the acorn woodpecker pecking and try to understand the forces involved.